In this video, my goal is to just highlight the distinction between average value and average rate of change. Um, and units are going to be helpful in, in figuring out which is which in these type of problems. So here, let's say you have the temperature. Let's say it's just the temperature outside. Um, and it's a function of time in days. And if we're asked for the average temperature on the interval 0 to 30 days, since we're asked for the average temperature and that's the temperature function, we're just being asked for the average value of our temperature function. So that's going to be the integral. 1 over 30 minus 0. And I want to put the units in here to show you that this is going to give us what we want. So that's days down there in the bottom. And we're evaluating the integral from 0 to 30. And that's 40 plus 30 sine of 0 0.017 t dt. Now we think about units. This expression here, the units are degrees. This here, the units dt is a small change in time. The units there are days. So if you forgot that 1 over 30, your integral would be would have units Fahrenheit days, which is a something that probably doesn't make much sense to us. However, once you get, evaluate the integral and then multiply by 1 over 30, these days cancel, and you've got your units being temperature. So you've got you found average temperature. So we'll evaluate this integral with our calculator. Go into y1, type in 40 plus 30 sine of 0.017t or x. Make sure you're in radian mode. And then go to the quit screen and hit math. Go down to 9, which is fn int. And I go, I'm going to hit the vars button y variable, I'm going to use y1 since that's where I wrote my function. And I'm going to evaluate the expression with respect to x on the interval 0 to 30. And when you do that, you get 14. So it's 1 over 30 times 14, 24. Wasn't happy with that 4. 14, 24.5. 6, 9, and if you divide that by 30, you get 47.486 degrees Fahrenheit. So the average temperature on those 30 days was about 47.486 degrees. Now if we're asked for the average rate of change, here's where you're actually going to use the slope of the secant line. You're going to say, well that's just change in my temperature function on the interval 0 to 30, so there's a change, divided by the change in time. right? And here the units are degrees Fahrenheit, and here the units are days. So you're actually getting a rate here, right? degrees per day. So we'll evaluate t of 30. And you can do that by the, I don't know if any of you knew this, but you can treat y1 as like a, as the name of the function, and you can use function notation to do this. So I'm going to do y of 1 y1 of 30 minus y1 of 0. So that gives me 14.645 divided by 30. And that gives you 0.488. And the units would be degrees per day. So there's a rate. So the average rate of change is 0.488 degrees per day. So that's on average the temperature is going up by 0.488 degrees per day on this on this time interval. So there's the distinction between average rate of change and average value. So you want to make sure you pay attention to the difference there and make sure you're answering the question correctly. And let units help you because they can, even if it's a context you've never seen before, units can really help you make sense of the uh, of the problem and make sure you help you make sure you're answering the correct uh, the correct question.